Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I have an unboxing video for the Razer Viper Ultimate Mouse. So I actually have a couple different computers in the house. I have my main rig here, I have a second one downstairs, and then I have a laptop. So kind of using that second rig as an excuse to really just buy different products. I've never actually used a Razer mouse. My system right now uses Logitech for everything. So I actually have the G703, I actually have the power play, and I love that setup because I'm never worried about the wireless controller actually recharging or having to deal with any of that. I just like that setup, it's very well done. I've tried Corsairs, didn't like it as much, so I actually ended up returning that stuff. But with this, the interesting thing is it has a recharging dock with this. So I'm curious to actually try that out where I'm not gonna be on that PC as much. So it is easier for me to just dock it really quick, let it charge, and then I use it as needed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and let's take a look here. So that is it right there. I liked the look of it. The notion of the charging dock was really, really interesting to me as well. Let's peel this thing out. Ooh, it's light too. Just based off feel in terms of comfort, very comparable to my 703, which has been my favorite mouse out of every one that I've actually tried with this. So this is light. We have the skaters on the bottom. You have four different spots. Go ahead and peel that off. USB dongles inside here, right there. And then this is where it will actually attach to the charging port thing. Which, yeah, this is interesting to me. So you have this, it actually has an LED light that goes around it. And then works off magnetics, just slides in, and that's it. Very, very cool. And it looks like this will actually have the USB adapter plug in here and then this potentially just runs to the computer if you're gonna do that. So you actually have the option to go with either way on that, which I like. Then we have inside here, just what you get with everyone, which is gonna be the manual. And then we have our cable. And I do like this cable because it's threaded. That was one of my complaints with some of the stuff that I've bought with Logitech. I think, what well, was it? It was the keyboard, it was the Spectrum, and it just had a regular wired uh, cable with it when everything else came with the threaded one. And it's just, they're more durable, I just like that. And that thing is long. So we have uh, micro USB on this end, and then you have your USB adapter right here. It'll plug this in and it'll go to the PC. So right now the downstairs rig uh, doesn't have a monitor. I had to ten actually send my gigabyte monitor back. It broke down after three days. So I'm excited to do that review because I got some stuff to say about it. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna get this set up here so I can actually test this thing out. So uh, let's go ahead and get this set up and then I'll just talk about my initial impressions. Alright, so setup was quick and easy. I simply plugged in the micro USB port into the back of the charging dock and then I ran that to the computer and then it automatically downloaded the software, which I really like when companies do that. I'm not having to track anything down. Quick, easy, painless. Uh, I haven't actually used this software in a long time because I misspoke. I said I've never used a Razer mouse. That's not true. Matter of fact, the first mouse that I used with my PC that I built for the first time about seven years ago was the Razer uh, Taipan and I just totally forgot about it and it's just been so long after that I moved to Logitech and I haven't used one of their mouses since so it's been a while but I can tell you my initial impression with this this is a phenomenal mouse there's so much going on with it that I really really like the software is going to take a minute to get used to. There's, like with a lot of these things now, there's just so many things to sort through. How are you doing the lighting? A lot of times we're getting the breathing effects, rainbow effects, all these other things. The cool thing is you do that with the dock as well. You could also turn it off if you don't want any of that. But with this, you have all the different tinkering that you can do. This is also a left or right-handed mouse. The G703 isn't that. So this is actually more comparable to the G900 or the 903, which is just either left or right-handed. You could use it either way with that. So I do like that. It's also very light. It's only 73 grams with this, if I remember correctly. 74 grams, sorry, I was off by a gram. And the 
Logitech G703 is actually 107. Now you get to swap out with that and actually have the charging dongle, so it's actually lighter than that because you actually get a weight when you buy that, so you can make it heavier or lighter. I do like the light feel with this. It just moves very, very well in the hands. It has eight uh, programmable buttons with this, um, which is awesome, and you get to swap those if you're going to use it with your left hand, so you get to map those as needed with that. I did notice that the DPI is actually on the bottom here. It's not on the center. I don't know how much I like that. Although I don't change my DPI that often, I do like the fact that the 703 has it on top here. Same with the uh, 900 or the 903 there. But with this, uh, it does have a 20K sensor in it. So you can have um, 20,000 uh, for your DPI if you want to do that. I don't know who's going to do that. That's ridiculous. The 703 only has 12,000. I never go that high. I usually stop about 6,400, so I've never actually taken advantage of any of that with that. This does have a 70-hour battery life as well, which is phenomenal. I mean, I'm using PowerPlay. I'm never going to worry about that with the PowerPlay and the 703 here. But now with the 900, I went with that it saved me a little bit of money. The 903 is the one that you can use power play. So with the 900, I can't actually use power play, but I'm still getting a good chunk of life out of it. I can't remember what the battery life is just right offhand. I know it's not 70 hours. That's really, really good. The other thing that you can do in the settings here is you get to actually tweak the lighting on the dock to tell you your battery percentage. And I like that. You could do the other effects, but the fact that it tells me where my mouse is is really, really cool. And then when I'm not using it, I'm just going to put it on there. And it works very well because it has a, like the magnets in it, like we see with headphones and things like that. So it literally just like snaps into place. Feels really good when it does that, easy to pop off. So no problems at all. Charging is not going to be an issue. And then it has five onboard memory profiles. I like that. Depending on the game that you're going to be using, we could switch that up, right? And then it has a Razer optical mouse switch. I can tell you that the switches themselves feel really, really good. So let's go ahead and cut over to just a sound test of you listening to how all of the buttons sound with this. So as you could hear, it sounds really, really good. It, the buttons themselves, they just feel great when you're clicking them. And that's something that I look for. I don't like that slow, I almost think it feels like muddy with certain ones that I've used before. It just has a really good click. I do like the scroll wheel as well. The 703 is okay. This one is actually a replacement because the first batch, the sensor or the roll itself was wearing down. And so eventually it would just spin with this. This actually kind of has that little bit of a click that I like. The G900, it actually has a button so you can do it so it'll just freely spin or you push down the button then it'll have it a click to it and I like that feature because you actually get the best of both worlds. You get to choose whether or not you want it to click or it's just going to kind of speed through that. So overall, I am extremely happy with this. I do need to tinker with the software more. I'm probably going to switch some of the sensors on this or some of the remap some of the buttons, I should say, just because with this, I'm not going to need necessarily the outside button. So I may actually change that to my DPI setting so I can get through that a little bit quicker. But I'm really, really happy with this. We look at the software here. You have customized performance, lighting. You get to change the brightness, obviously. Calibration, power. Um, the polling frequency, by the way, 125, 500, or 1,000. And like I said, you actually get to change this all the way up to... 20,000 if you want to. Like I said, I don't, I don't know who's going to use that with this. So we have that. Um, and then we have the dock here that you get to change the brightness, turn the brightness all the way up. Right now I have it on the battery. So full, high, mid is where I'm at right now. Low and then critical. Um, but you get to change that to other things. Audio meter, breathing, reactive, spectrum cycling, or static. And then you have advanced effects, which I'm not going to mess with that. Stuff I need to learn with this. Just bringing this up, you get to Chroma Connect, Chroma Studio, Chroma Visualizer. That's going to be, I believe, their lighting software with this. So you get to integrate and actually sync everything up in the same manner that you do with Logitech with this. So other things that I'm going to tinker around with. Um, Plain Doom felt really, really good. 
I enjoyed just the quick play that I had with this. I need to spend more time before I do a review, obviously, but my initial impression is that this thing is very, very comfortable. It's not as high, it's not as thick, and I mean like just the height of the mouse. I have a thing that'll pop up where it's showing you kind of like the overall height thickness to this. The 703 is taller, if I want to say it that way. And I do like that it does feel better in the hands because it fills my hand out where this one, there's just a space in between. I don't think that's going to be a deal breaker. I'm just going to have to adjust to it. But I do typically like that fuller feeling of the mouse in my hands. But that's one of the first things that I noticed that I was a little bit weary of. It just drew my attention. It just didn't quite fill out my hands. But other than that, I mean, it feels great. Slides really good. No issues at all. It just is a great mouse in terms of the initial impression. So that's actually gonna be it for this though. If you guys wanna pick this up, I'm gonna make sure that there is a link for this in the description so you get to check this out. It is a little bit pricier. I got this on sale for 130. I paid the same amount for the G900. Um, so with that, I'm getting the charging dock with it versus just the cable that came with the G900. But you can always look for sales on those G900s too. I've seen those go down to $100. So you just have to, be, have to be mindful of waiting for a sale basically. So it is pricier. You're not getting a power play mat. But if I looked at buying this, I'm paying 100 bucks for power play, 100 to 120 bucks just for this mat. And then I'm paying another anywhere from 60 to 100 even all the way up to 130 for G703 or 903 with that. So the, the price is gonna be higher, but I'm never even having to put it on a charging dock. It is charging while it sits here, which is really, really cool. So things to consider when you're looking at this. But that is gonna be it for this video. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.